Hello, this is Ratio and Proportion Lesson 2.2. In this, I will discuss questions on variation. Now, before going to the questions, let me first discuss the objective of these kind of video lessons that we are doing. See, objective is to solve the questions in aptitude exam in least possible time. Now, how can you solve the questions in least possible time? First of all, your concepts must be absolutely clear. Second thing, you have to apply the common sense or logic. It means that sometimes by using the option or by assuming something, you can solve the questions. And third is your calculation speed and simplification speed must be fast. And you have to always avoid the cramming and memorization. Again, I'm saying always avoid the cramming and memorization. So the first question is a precious stone worth rupees 7272 fell and broke into three pieces. The weights of which are in the ratio 1, 2 and 3. The very important thing to understand here is that the weights are in the ratio 1 is to 2 is to 3. So we can assume that the part 1, part 2 and part 3 of the stone. This is unbroken stone. I am assuming that there is unbroken stone. Its weight must be something else. And these are broken parts, part 1, 2 and 3. The weights of which are in the ratio 1 is to 3 is 2 is to 3. So let the part 1 weight is 1 gram. Part 2 weight is 2 gram, part 3 weight is 3 gram. We can assume any number in the ratio 1 is to 2 is to 3. So best would be 1, 2 and 3. And that is what I was saying about the common sense. You have to assume data so that it will be easy for you to solve the question. What will be the weight of the unbroken stone? This will be 3 plus 2 plus 1, 6 gram by common sense. Because the weight of the parts will combine give you the total weight of unbroken stone. So unbroken stone uh, was of weight 6 gram. Again I am saying you can assume any values of weight which are in the ratio 1, 2 and 3. You can assume 10 gram, 20 gram and 30 gram. But the most convenient would be 1 gram, 2 gram and 3 gram. Now what the question says that the value of the stone is directly proportional to the square of weight. The value of the stone is directly varies or proportional with the square of the weight. Now I told you how to convert the sign of variation into sign of equality. We have to multiply by a constant k times the weight square. The w stands for weight. So can I say that the value of unbroken stone v would be k times the weight is 6, 6 grams 6 square. The value of this part v1 value of part 1 will be equal to k times its weight is 1 1 square value the second part v2 it weights would be k into 2 square value the third part would be k into its weight square so can i say that the value of unbroken stone would be how much this is 36 k value of first part will be k value of second part would be 4 k and value of the third part would be 9 k now what the question is saying, find the loss as the stone is broken and into some pieces, we need to find the loss due to breakage. Now the value of the unbroken stone watch 7272. So can I say 36k is equals to 7272. Can I say k is equals to 202. If you divide this become 202. So value of k you got is 202. Now we need to calculate the loss due to breakage. Now earlier value was unbroken stone is 36k. The value of all the parts. The value of all the parts if you combine this will be 9 plus 4, 13 plus 1, 14k. It means that the unbroken stone value was 36k. Due to breakage the stones combined value of the all the pieces is 14k. Now what is the loss? Loss will be equal to 36k minus 14k. Can I say this is equal to 22k. That will be the loss. This is 14k. 22k will be the loss. And we know the value of k. So actual value of loss would be how much? 22k. That is 22 into 202. Can I say my answer would be 44, 44. That will be the loss that I have to bear if the stone broken into three pieces. Option number two will be your final answer. Now this question if it comes in exam can be solved 
uh, under a minute the only thing is that uh, you have to do all these things verbally if i have to solve this question i can straight away solve this question verbally even without writing because i know that the unbroken stone value will be 36k broken stone species would value will be k plus 4k plus 9k 14k so loss will be of 22k which is equal to 22 into 202 Question 2 says that the force of attraction between the two bodies is proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between the them. If each mass is tripled and the distance between the bodies is reduced by one fourth, then the force of attraction between the two bodies is how much times the original force of the attraction that is what we need to find so can i say that the force of attraction vary directly with the or pro directly proportional to the same thing product of the masses let's say mass of first body is m1 the mass of second body is m2 the same force is inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them let's say distance is d now we can combine this and make it joint variation can i say that force is directly vary with with m1 m2 inversely with the d square so this we know that how to make the sign of variation into equality this is k times m1 into m2 divided by d square now what the question says that if the mass is tripled each mass and the distance between the bodies is reduced by one fourth now i'm calculating the new force f dash f dash would be how much this would be k times if the mass is tripled, can I say that mass triple means that mass becomes thrice of m1 and thrice of m2. And the distance between the bodies is reduced by one fourth. It means it becomes 3 by 4d. If you reduce distance d by one fourth, you will left with 3 fourth of d. Now this is the distance between the two bodies. 3d square. Now can I say that after solving, you will get 9 into k m1 m2 by this is 9 by 16 d square now you know that this value is equal to how much this value you know can i say that f dash new force is equal to this 9 and 9 will get cancelled with this 16 times what is this value of this k k m1 m2 by d square you know that k m1 m2 by d square this is equal to f can I say that the new force is 16 times the old force? So our answer is 16 or last option. So again, we can solve this question in exam under a minute. This question although seems to be a difficult question because the statement is quite lengthy. But these kind of question are quite easy. Third question is speed of a locomotive or you can say that any engine with uh, wagons without any wagons attached to it is 40 km per hour. So speed of a locomotive is 40 km per hour. That is the speed that is given to us. Now next question is that it diminishes. It means speed diminishes by a quantity which is directly proportional to the square of the number of wagons attached. Now speed reduces. It means new speed as dash will be equal to speed reduces by a quantity let's say q the new speed is s minus q now what about the question is saying about this q now speed diminishes by a quantity q q is directly proportional to the square root of the number of wagons attached when n, n is the number of wagons attached to the locomotive can i say that new speed would be how much this actual speed minus q now what will the value of q? q is directly vary with the square root of n can i say that we have to remove the sign of variation we will put a constant can i say q will be equal to k times the root n so can i say new speed s would be s dash s dash would be s minus k root n that will be the new speed actual speed minus k times the root n again in this question language what quite difficult but you have to understand word by word the speed diminishes by a quantity let's say q so now new speed would be original speed minus q now what about q q is directly proportional to the square root of number of wagons now 
this is proportional how to remove the sign of proportion or variation you have to just make a constant now what the question says that if the speed is 34 when the nine wagons are attached speed is 34 the new speed is 34 which original speed s was 40 when nine wagons attach so can we find the value of k yes we can find so can i say k root 9 this will be equals to 6 this is 3k would be 6 can i say k would be equals to 2 so we got the value of k so put the values of k the new speed dash dash would be equals to original speed minus twice of square root of n i have put the value of k now what the question says that find the maximum number of wagons that can be attached we will need to find the maximum value of n that can be attached so that so that the speed should not falls below 26 can i say that h dash is equal to s is 40 minus twice of root n now this value s dash should not fall below 26 it means that the new speed should be greater than or equals to 26 it should not be less than 26 now what should be the value of n again we have to take the uh, help of options now question saying about the maximum number of wagons that can be attached so that speed should not fall below 26 it should be equal than equal or greater than 26 now again apply the common sense when the question is saying about the maximum number of wagons which option i should try the first i should first try the 64 now if you put n is equals to 64 what will happen this will be 2 into root 64 will be 8 2 into 8 16 40 minus 16 answer would be 24 again you have to solve this kind of equation verbally so that you can try a try out options faster manner so 64 we won't be our answer because if you put n is equal to 64 this will be 40 minus 16 that is 24 we want that speed should be greater than equals to 26 so 64 won't be our answer second option i will try 49 now if you put n is equals to 49 this will be 49 root is you can say that this will be 40 minus 2 into 7 that is 40 minus 14 answer is 26 yes we can have the speed equals to 26 so maximum number of wagons we can attach is 49 because if you attach 49 wagons speed will be equals to 26 and that is what the question is saying speed should not falls below 26 it means that speed can be 26 and the maximum number of wagons our answer would be 49 now question 4 is in a hostel expenses are partially fixed and partially vary with the number of students if there are 80 students per head expenses 240 and if there are 120 students per head expenses 190 now find the total expense of 160 student that is the question now what the question says that we can assume that total expense is equals to fixed expense and variable expense this variable expense the question says that let's say v variable expense vary directly with the number of student vary directly with the number of student let's say n so can i say that the v will be equals to k into n again uh, removing the sign of variation by applying a constant so can i say total cost will be equals to fixed cost plus variable cost will be equals to fixed cost i am assuming as f variable cost will be k into n very directly with the number of student and that will be your basic equation you can put the values and find the answer now what the question says that if there are 80 student per head expenses 240 so total cost is 80 into 240 because each student cost is 240 and there are 80 students so total cost would be 80 into 240 this will be equal to fixed cost and the number of students we know that there are 80 second equation will be if there are 120 students per head expense would be 190 so 120 into 190 that will be total expense is equal to fixed plus k times now how many students we have 120 now you can this is equation number one this is equation number two now you have to solve and calculate the answer can i say that two minus one do two minus one you will get now again this simplification speed must be very fast that will that is what i was saying simplification speed again two minus one this will be equals to 40k and how to minus it in a faster manner this is 120 into 190 minus 240 into 80 
can I say that 120 you can take common this is equals to 190 minus 160 can I say this is 120 into 30 this will be equals to 40 K again 43 za so can I say that K is equals to 90 when you get K is equals to 90 you can calculate the value of F in any of the equation you can put the value of K in this equation this is 190 so what will get F is equals to how much 120 you will take common this will be 190 minus 90 this is 100 so 12,000 will be the fixed cost 12,000 will be the fixed cost fixed cost and this kind of calculation must be very fast so now what we need to calculate the total expense of 160 students so can we calculate 160 students so total expense can I say that 160 students total expense would be how much fixed plus k into n number of students so this will be equal to fixed we know that this is 12,000 plus what is the value of k k is 90 and the number of students are 160 this is 12,000 plus 16 into 9 is 144 double zero 26,400 will be your final answer 12,000 plus 14,400 26,400 that is none of this will be your final answer so that was all about ratio and proportion lesson 2.2 questions on variation thank you